Hello everyone, this is Remlays from 40k Theories, and welcome to this new episode of 40k Law for Newcomers. For this episode, we will be continuing our brief look at the Warhammer 40,000 timeline. While these videos will typically focus more on humanity's actions throughout the timeline, certain important Xenos events will also be documented throughout. So without further ado, let's continue. The following account is a continuation of certain events from M39 to the end of M40. Because of how intricate and detailed the events of this time were, only certain key events will be mentioned, which in turn will be expanded upon in future videos. In addition, there is also a small chance for potential inaccuracies of specific dates due to contradicting sources. For events that occurred prior to M39, make sure to check out the previous videos in the 40k timeline. 001 M39 The 10th Black Crusade begins. The Iron Warriors Traitor Legion launches an all-out assault against the world of Medusa, the homeworld of the Iron Hand Space Marine chapter, but are eventually repelled. 018 M39 The Tau Empire begins its second sphere of expansion. 053 M39 The Vespid becomes the newest race to join the Tau Empire, though there are suspicions of foul play from the ethereal caste, as the compliance of the Vespid only succeeded after the strain leaders of the Vespid race were given special devices known as Communion Helms. 160 M39 the Revilers and Red Seraph Space Marine chapters defeat a massive Orc incursion that attempted to break into the Orpheus Sector. The surviving elements of the Orc War would continue to plague the Sector for years to come through piratical raids. 301 M39 Abaddon the Despoiler launches the 11th Black Crusade, targeting the Cardinal World of Reloria. An Orc War led by Murgor Undred Teeth invades Reloria during the battle, leading to a three-way conflict between the Imperium, the Forces of Chaos, and the Orcs. Several Orcs are captured by Abaddon's forces, and subsequently used as guinea pigs for the Warmaster's experiments. 330-M39 The Mantis Warriors chapter tracks down and apprehends the heretic Cardinal, Kafra turning him over to the Inquisition upon the Watchworld of Volsingham. The population of the world of Thruska's Sign succeeds in eliminating all pathogens upon their world in just a single generation. Offended by this action, the Plague God, Nurgle, sends his demonic legions to corrupt the world. 384-M39 The battle fleet of the Calixus Sector is established by the Imperial Navy consisting of three Grand Cruisers, two Battle Cruisers, and a single Battleship. 487 M39 The Demon Prince of Slanesh, Lilesh Snarelust, orchestrates a massive demonic incursion across numerous Imperial worlds. Snarelust's forces would face resistance from the Eldari craft world of Saim Han, whose High Chieftain would personally banish the demon back into the warp. 533 M39 The Salamanders chapter of the Adeptus Astartes would defend the cardinal world of Phaistos Osiris from an Orc war led by the warlord Ruck Ripper. Much of Ruck Ripper's forces would be incinerated within the world's capital after the Salamanders ignited thousands of gallons of Promethean fuel that was left as a trap for the Orcs. Ruck Ripper is slain, and the Salamanders begin hunting down and eliminating any survivors. 645 M39 The Black Templars chapter leads a crusade to conquer the Jerula system. During this crusade, the chapter discovers an STC that holds the schematics for the Land Raider Crusader. 763 M39 the Adeptus Mechanicus officially recognises and sanctions the manufacturing of the Land Raider Crusader. 
This blessing by the Mechanicus is seen by many as little more than a formality, as hundreds of Space Marine chapters are already using this particular pattern of land radar. 876-M39 The Tau destroy the Eldari Maiden world of Larasus in their pursuit of Drukhari raiders. The craft world of Iandin retaliates to this wanton destruction by assaulting the Tau Sept world of Carmice. 887-M39 The Nova Marines and Blood Drinkers chapters deploy over 200 Terminators to purge the Space Hulk Death of Integrity of Gene Stealer infestation. Countless numbers of STCs are recovered during the mission, earning each chapter a new strike cruiser as a token of gratitude from the Adeptus Mechanicus. Unknown Date Late M39 the Executioner's Chapter's Fortress Monastery of Darkenvault comes under assault from an unknown Xenos race. The Chapter suffers devastating losses and would come close to being utterly destroyed, but the Xenos would be driven back and annihilated thanks to the timely arrival of the Astral Claws Chapter. The Executioners in their gratitude swear to one day repay their debt to the Astral Claws. 052 M40. The world of Kochalos is invaded by the forces of the demon prince Bubelgor, and its human population is slaughtered. The Necrons of the Old Tep dynasty, slumbering within the bowels of Kochalos, awaken to find their world occupied by demonic entities. The Necrons battle against the demon prince's armies but are ultimately destroyed, with Bubelgor taking the heads of the Necrons as trophies. 101 M40 The Star Phantoms chapter is forced to abandon their homeworld due to a massive migration from the time-altering Xenos known as the HUD. Only approximately 30% of the chapter manages to survive the carnage. 228 M40 The Firehawks chapter instigates a cleansing of the Golgothan wastes known as the First Castigation of Golgotha. 319-M40 The Orc Warboss Badrock Gutgouger asserts his dominance over the various Orc tribes within the Shattered Deeps, and his forces grow so large that it threatens to become a fully-fledged war. The Koenig Armoured Regiments of the Astra Militarum spend the next seven months tracking and subsequently destroying the Orc forces, before proudly displaying the corpse of the Warboss upon the spire of Amraphel's Red Cathedral. 433-M40 The High Autarch of the World of Krieg secedes from the Imperium. A civil war breaks out between Loyalist and Separatist forces, with the Rebels slowly but surely claiming victory after victory. The Loyalist commander, Colonel Yurton of the Krieg 83rd Regiment, declares that the world belongs to the Emperor and nobody else, before subjecting the planet to an atomic cleansing turning the world into a desolate, radioactive wasteland, causing a total collapse of the world's ecosystem and subjecting the planet to a nuclear winter. The Civil War would continue for the next 500 years. 485-M40 The Alpha Legion invades the world of Gorstengrad, the homeworld of the Loyalist Emperor's Swords chapter. Thanks to the activation of countless sleeper agents, the Emperor's swords are overwhelmed and destroyed, and their homeworld is utterly devastated. The Alpha Legion then retreats to the Eastern Fringes with their fresh supplies of gene seed and recruits in tow. 550-M40 A combined Alpha Legion and Night Lord's assault results in the destruction of the Dark Angel's recruitment world of Grimm's Landing. 561-M40 an Emperor's Children invasion fleet is destroyed by an unknown regiment of the Astra Militarum upon the world of Nexus. To keep the information of demonic entities hidden away from public knowledge, the Ordo Malius subjects the world to Exterminatus and alters official records to state that the slaughter was caused by the Eldari. 567-M40 Sergeant Darnef Lassander of the Imperial Fist's 3rd Company leads his squad to victory against a heretical cult during the Battle of Colonial Bridge. 
18 years later, Lysander is promoted to captain of the second company. 600 M40 The Tau of the Viola Sept lures an encroaching orc force into the plasma storm between the twin sons of the world, incinerating the Greenskin Horde. 896 M40 The Formosian, Crete, and Thraxian races agree to join the Tau Empire. The Watercast of the Empire also attempts to bring the Hrud and Arakan into the fold, but are violently rejected. 901 M40 The Mantis Warriors ambush a Drukhari warband, known as the Slave Lords, upon the World of Tranquility, utterly destroying the Xenos forces. 933 M40 Loyalist forces claim victory in the Krieg Civil War, and the world becomes officially part of the Imperium once more. The regiments recruited from Krieg for the Astra Militarum become henceforth known as the Death Corps of Krieg. The Departamento Munitorum finds the world is drastically behind in submitting tithes. As recompense, Krieg offers 20 fully raised regiments ready for immediate deployment, and continues to offer these regiments, despite their homeworld being an irradiated wasteland, to this very day. And that concludes this portion of the Warhammer 40,000 timeline. Join us next time for events occurring from M41 onwards. If you liked this video, consider supporting us on Patreon for more content. To those new to 40k, we hope you learned something. So leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.